To create a Google Draw lesson like this one, where you can sort or create a mind map or um, any, any kind of graphic organizer that you want the students to fill in information, um, you will first go into your Google Drive. From the new menu, drop down menu, scroll down, it's on the actual second drop down, click on Google Drawings. And one of the things I like about Google Drawings is you can actually stretch this paper to be almost as big as you want. There is no limitation really, uh, I mean there is a limitation, but it's far exceeds what, what you'd probably need. So the first thing you want to do is title it. Um, then, then you want to put in some kind of a, a T or bubbles for a mind map. So the shapes right here are good for um, mind map posting, graphic organizer posting, but I'm just going to show you how to create a simple T chart where um, students can sort either Greek and Latin roots or concepts or like this one, I'm going to show you how to do the blend one that you saw when I first started the video. Um, okay, let's see, drop this again. So you make your simple T-chart. And then any text you want to add, you have to use a text box, to, text box to do that because it is just a blank canvas. And then you'd probably want to increase your font size and maybe center it. So we'll put in the letter CH. And then to duplicate this, click on it, get your crosshairs, hit your control C button, and then control V. You'll have the same exact box, same size uh, font um, that you have in the other one. You can just uh, make sure the text is correct. All right, so now we just need to create a, a box down here to put our images into. So we're just going to create a text box and not put any text in it. Now when I click out of this, this box is actually going to disappear. So we need to put some lines around it. So you go up here to line weight, and one would be the smallest, thinnest line like our T, and then eight would be a thick, bold line. So I usually pick something around three. Um, if you like, you can change the color of the box itself, and you would just go up here to this fill color, little paint bucket, and uh, let's fill it with a nice gold color. Now we're ready to add images. So this icon right here, this mountain icon, is your image icon. And you would just go to search if you didn't have them in your Google Drive somewhere. And you would just type in the object that you were looking for. Now note here it says results shown are labeled for commercial reuse with modification. The Creative Commons license is intact when you search uh, within Google and that means that you won't violate any copyright issues so you click on the object and then you click select and when it imports it it's going to be rather large so grab that corner and let's make it small and then drag it into the box you see this red line right there that will show you when it's centered in the box let's grab another image So we click on the image and then we click select. And that'll pop it into our Google Draw and then we can resize it. By the way, if you go past, you'll flip it. Um, so this is backwards. So if you ever wanna make something, I don't know why you would wanna do that, but if you ever wanna switch things up, maybe you want the person that you um, got the clip art of facing the other direction, that's one way to flip the object. Okay. Okay, I had to change the background a little bit because my beach is the same color as the background was. and You can see it as well. So now I have uh, five items, one of which will not be sorted. The other two will go in. And basically, this is all you need to do to create a sort. Not much more than this to create um, a mind map where you would put probably a circle or a rectangle in the center with the main idea. And then uh, branch out and the students would be able to add to the mind map. To get this on your Google Classroom, you want to go to your Google Classroom. If you don't have the tab open, just open a tab and open your Google Classroom. And you'll make this an assignment. So you'll go over to the plus, go up to assignment, title the assignment, include instructions if you like. Okay. 
You can create a due date if you like. If not, you can leave it blank. You can create a topic um, here and put it under the topic heading. Easier to uh, find things for the students once you get quite a few postings in Google Classroom. Now you want to get your assignment and it's in your Google Drive. And whatever the last assignment was that you did, um, it's the first one that will appear. Otherwise, you can just search right here for the assignment. And then you click Add. Before you assign this, notice right here that only the students can only view this. They can't do anything. They can't manipulate it. So you want to use this drop-down menu to make sure the students are able to work um, in the drawing. If you select students can edit the file, that means every single student in your class will be editing the same copy. And that's not usually, um, and unless you want them all working together, adding more images or something like that, that's uh, really not what you would want to do with an assignment. With an assignment, you want to make a copy for each student. So they each have their own and they turn it in. When you assign, you have uh, three options. You can assign it immediately, you can schedule it to be assigned, or you can just save it and go back. Maybe you're wanting to um, add a video to um, the, the activity before they actually do the sort. And that's all you do. If you need any more help with Google Draw or creating these types of lessons, my extension is 5924, or you can email me at rmacdonald at ewcsd.org. Thanks.